Watertown stops flag raisings over concerns of what could have happened today as a decades long tradition continued the raising of the Israeli flag, but protests and violence did not happen today. Tonight's 7 News reporter Chad Charette has more on how this tradition is coming to an end. They are saying you Voices raised in song and an Israeli flag raised at City Hall. For Watertown's Jewish community, it has been a tradition since 1978, commemorating Israeli Independence Day. But due to a resolution passed by City Council, May 14th marks the last time the ceremony will take place a bittersweet experience for longtime participants. It is. We've enjoyed being able to come together as a community to celebrate our heritage and our gratitude for a Jewish state. So it is, a, it is upsetting that we won't be able to do it again after today. The resolution effectively bans most flag raisings at City Hall. Mayor Sarah Pierce says the decision was partially the result of increasing global and social tensions, the 2023 Israel-Hamas war included. At universities across the nation, protesters continue to call for a ceasefire, accusing Israel's military of genocide in Gaza. The city government doesn't want to take a stance. The cleanest and best way for the city to move forward remains to be the raising of just the American flag, the state flag, and the POW flag when appropriate. City officials anticipated protesters, but they never showed. For Mary Tucker, who led the ceremony, the event was simply a celebration of heritage. We all hope for a peaceful resolution to what's happening, but today was not about the war. It was just about the local Jewish community coming together to celebrate our heritage. The flag will continue flying all day. After that, it won't be returning to City Hall. Following the resolution, the city only has two flag raisings left. Those will be Juneteenth and Pride this summer. Chad Charette, 7 News.